I've come to save the world, but also crisp and clear, not attempting to duplicate, but to complement it and to enhance it. And as he does at the beginning, puts in a statement about his purpose, his purpose of morally improving the reader. And he says that we should use our ability to learn, to study worthwhile things. But the inquiring mind is restless and demands a justification for its favorite beliefs. It requires warrants and is fearful of self-deception. If the life devoid of a spiritual dimension is too thin a life, then one devoid of philosophical vigor is too complacent. In one of Plato's dialogues, we are told that we are all like puppets. And the gods can move us any which way they will by pulling on these strings. But we have one string that we can pull back on. Socrates tells us it's the golden cord of reason. I'm on mission. What mission? Peace in our time. It should be clear that what we resist when entering into philosophical modes of thought are not merely external influences, but our own habits of thought and cherished certainties. What is this? We are now willing, even if fearful, to raise the most basic and searching questions about reality. What is this, please? About right and wrong. This feels weird. About justice. About the grounds of our relations with others. Nice. About war and peace. I'm a peacekeeping program. Created to help. Sharp lines can be drawn here only at peril. Indeed, the more developed thinking becomes, the more philosophical and scientific thinking tends to merge. Give me, give me a second. He's in our time. You are in distress. No. Yes. There's that string again. With it, we can resist the gods themselves, even if ultimately our fate is not in our hands. Win or lose in such contests, we are not simply foils, merely material objects to be moved around by the whim and caprice of hidden forces. Lose that reason, suspend that criticality, become gullible, accept anything that custom serves up, and you enter the life of a puppet on a string, the life a slave. I'm here to help. The philosopher doesn't enter the arena of philosophy as one devoid of belief, values, and hope. But there are those rare moments when we say this, no matter how much this means to me, no matter how centered my being is on this pattern of beliefs, no matter how close I am personally and emotionally and even romantically to those who hold such convictions, I must reserve the right to question and to doubt. I will retain this skeptical bias as an obligation owed to my own rationality, my own integrity. I am prepared to follow the golden cord leading me out of the labyrinth, no matter how many twists and turns there are, because once I let go of that, my intellectual life is not my own. I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on.